Hello, hope you're well. Uh, today I'm going to be uh, just taking you through um, what we're going to be doing in English uh, in terms of assessing year 11s this year and how we're going to go uh, forward from now up until May when students will uh, say uh, farewell to us and uh, would have completed um, their assessments uh, in English. So in English, we obviously study two qualifications. Uh, that's uh, English language and English literature. Now, in English language, we actually um, look at paper one and a paper two. So initially, students would have, uh, have um, completed an assessment in explorations in creative reading and writing, and a paper two looking at writers' viewpoints and perspectives. In English literature, they would have also um, studied two uh, papers. So paper one would have looked at uh, Macbeth and the sign of four, whereas paper two students would have been assessed on their knowledge of an spectacles or blood brothers, depending on what they had uh, studied throughout the years. Some power and conflict poetry and some unseen poetry. When we came back in September, it was decided that students had missed so much in terms of learning that we would no longer assess students on their knowledge of power and conflict poetry. So all was going pretty swimmingly up until then. And then obviously uh, lockdown part two happened. And so suddenly we had to uh, reevaluate everything. And in particular, the fact that the government were, had decided that the, to uh, suspend exams as we, uh, as we know them and for teachers to actually provide uh, grades for students. So it's very important as a result that we therefore get the evidence and we make it as fair as possible for our students. So therefore we revisited the fact that we were initially going to be assessing students in paper one and paper two in English language. And we need to uh, revisit what we were gonna do um, in English literature. So we've decided to take uh, paper two out in terms of what we're going to assess students in um, up until uh, students leave uh, Bayscarf, simply because our students weren't necessarily as prepared as they could have been for paper two because we lost so much learning time. And in terms of English literature, We've decided to um, no longer study the play Macbeth because, again, we just found we, we missed too much uh, learning time uh, to truly give students the opportunity to prepare for that text. And we are now um, getting rid of unseen poetry. So that means now students will be assessed in explorations in creative reading and writing in their English language. And in terms of uh, GCC English literature, they'll be looking at the sign of the four. Or, and, and the spectacles or Blood Brothers, depending which text they uh, studied out of those two. Students now uh, are aware of what they're gonna be studying every single week and where there are assessment checkpoints. And this has been shared with students. So what we plan to do is up until the Easter holiday, uh, there will be an opportunity for students to complete mini assessments in class. Um, these assessments are, uh, will allow us as a, um, um, as a team and me as a head of faculty to start looking at students in terms of a rank order um, throughout the year and also build up a bank of evidence that is necessary in case uh, the examination board want to um, quality assure um, how we're actually assessing students here at Bayscarf School. Um, students know when these assessment checkpoints are, and it's really important to, uh, to get across uh, to students and to parents that these in no means uh, will be set in stone, as in uh, this will formulate your, your final grade. These mini assessments are still formative in the, in the way that we assess them, in the sense that we as teachers will give feedback to students with, rega with regards to uh, any strengths and areas that they need to develop. Um, ahead of them actually completing their final exams in May, which will truly be a reflection of where our students are in terms of rank order and allow us to fairly um, uh, uh, assign grades to students in a manner that is uh, ethically right and uh, reflects a student's ability and what they've achieved here at Bayes Gulf School. I hope you found this useful. Um, please get uh, in contact with me uh, via email if you have any further questions. Um, until then, I uh, wish you and uh, the students of Asia all the best as we um, seek to overcome this, this hurdle, as it were, but do it in the best possible way uh, that will be beneficial to students at Bayes Golf School. Thank you very much. Bye bye.